I'm working on the, the Marathon's Excel homework today. All right. see what we're doing so we started Excel we opened the workbook and for step number two in age 13 convert the record time of Johnny Hayes to minutes fill age 13 down the column to cell age 60 and we're going to format all these cells as number with two decimal places so we're going to convert Johnny's record time to minutes in cell H13. So let's take a look at H13. So we have looks like, what is all this? So selected marathon data for men and women recorded time. Okay. So H13, let me find that. H13 is right here. So Johnny Hayes, Johnny Hayes from United States. And that event was in London, United Kingdom. Um, his record time was 2.92 2 2 hours. So if I want to convert that number into minutes, I just need to multiply this number by 60. So we have 60 minutes in an hour. So I hit enter. It should be about that number. But I remember they mentioned formatted as number with two decimal places. So I did that before I fill this all the way down to, they said, I think, H60. H60. Okay, all the way down. And I let go. So that's it. Johnny Hayes, his record time in minutes should be 175.31. Okay, step three, in cell S13, convert the record time of Mary Louise de Ledru to minutes. Fill cell S13 down, the column to cell S50, and again, format them as number with two decimal places. So we're doing the same exact thing in S13, I remember. Um, I, I told, um, I wrote on the Google slide for people to try this um, on their own. So try it, try it on your own. Stop the video, try that. But um, let me all, because I want to do every step um, in the video. So Mary Louise Ledru from France. Okay, let's see. Her hours, the record, the, the record time was five hours and what, 5.67 hours. So and that says 13 right there. Let me go ahead and convert this into minutes by typing equal sign. Click on that number of hours. So R13 and we will multiply that by 60. Hit enter. So it says 340, but they did say formatted as number with two decimal places. So I do want to see 340.00, otherwise I'll get points taken off for the formatting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this down. Probably to S50, S50. All right, so those are done. Oh, I zoomed out way too much. So that's it for step three. All right, let's look at step four. In cell I13, convert the record time of Johnny to minutes per mile. Okay, so that's the right there, minutes per mile. But don't we usually do miles per minute or miles per hour? Okay, anyways, um, they want minutes per mile, okay. Um, Fill cell I13 down the column to cell I60, and we're going to format those as number with two decimal places again. So remember this, we're going to divide the number of minutes by the number of miles for Johnny. And we're going to do that. 
right here in I13. So let's see, type in equal sign. So we need to divide the number of minutes, which we just found, H13, and we're going to divide this by number of miles. And where can we find the number of miles? Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, right here. So we have marathon distance. Um, it's 26 miles plus 385 yards, but they converted that into pure miles, 26.21875 miles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on D4, D4 for the number of miles. Okay, look what I just typed in here or clicked here. I13 is now equal H13 divided by D4. Hit enter. And remember to format this is number with two decimal places before you fill all the way down. Oh no, oh, I know what I forgot to do. So, um, let me double click into these formulas to see what's wrong with them, okay? So H13 divided by D14, they did that. Um, but if I click on the next one, look at what they did. They did H14, and that's what I wanted, but they divided by D5. And D5 is this cell right here that has nothing in it. See, what I want them to do is continue to use that D4, which has a number of miles. So what? guess what I now have to do? Now this one, they used the wrong number, right? They used, they divided it by the number of kilometers. So I know that's not what I want. So... Now I do know what I want though. I want them to continuously divide it by D4. So let me hit Command Z to get rid of all those cells that I copied down. So here, let me add some dollar signs in front of D and in front of 4. So they keep on using D4 exactly. So hit Enter. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this down. I wasn't thinking about absolute referencing, but thank goodness Excel showed me all those error messages. So let me check just this one right here. 6.12. They should have divided um, this cell, H18, by D4. And that's exactly what they did. So I'm happy with what I got. All right. So remember to type in the dollar signs in front of D and 4 in I13, okay? So that's it for that. In T13, convert the record time of Mary Louis Ledru to minutes per mile. We're doing the same thing that we just did um, for uh, Mary, Mary Louis. So let me go and do that. So here is, this is the cell. T13, that's for Mary Lewis. Click into it, set it equal to the number of minutes divided by um, how many miles, the number of miles. And I remember the, well, that was D4, D4, uh -oh, D4, but remember to put the dollar signs in front of D and in front of 4 and type in this because we want this formula to continuously divide by the same number of miles. We don't want it to shift down or anywhere. So hit enter, format it as number with two decimal places, and we're going to copy this all the way down. Alrighty. So that's it for five. Let's look at step six. J13, convert the record time of Johnny to miles per minute. So this time looks like we're just flipping the fraction. Okay, miles per minute. And we're going to fill that down to J60 and format it with number of two decimal places. Okay. I think we got this. So J13, I want to type in miles divided by minutes equal to miles. That's that same number, right? Saved in D4. Remember, we're going to have to use absolute referencing for that one. Um, 
as that's the only cell we want to use for the number of miles and I'm gonna divide that by number of minutes so take a look miles divided by number of minutes is saved in h13 so you should have d4 divided by h13 but don't forget to put dollar signs in front of d and in front of four hit enter before I hit enter, let me show you what I got typed in J13. J13 should be dollar sign D, dollar sign 4, divided by H13. Okay, convert this to number width or format this as a number with two decimal places and copy this down. So what is what does this mean? This means um, our journey can uh, run 0.15 miles in a minute. Okay. So done. I bet step seven is exactly the same. Do the same thing for Mary Louise um, and just fill it all the way down to U50. I'm sure you can do that. So you can stop the video or try it by yourself or just go ahead of me, okay? But I am going to do U13 um, right now because I want to submit it and see how I did. Equal sign. Divide the number of miles. I remember number of miles is saved in D6. And we'll divide it by the number of minutes. A number of minutes. See right here? Minutes. I, only, I need to divide that by that 340. But don't forget, number of miles we want to use the absolute reference so put a dollar sign in front of d and put a dollar sign in front of six now hold on was it d6 or d4 i'm losing it all right let me see d4 oh i almost got it wrong so it's d4 guys sorry about that so i need to change this to d4 okay and enter so mary louise is a little bit slower um, then Johnny formatted his number with two decimal places. She ran 0 0.08 miles in one minute. Copy this down. Let go. All right. I'm done with seven. Okay. K13, convert the record time of Johnny to miles per hour this time. Miles per hour. Same drill. All right, I'm going to go over there. So where is Johnny's cell? This cell, this sheet is so big. Johnny Hayes right here. And I'm going to that one last blank that I never filled out just yet. So this one I need to do miles per hour. Set it equal to D4. D4 is where we have the miles. And we're going to divide it by his number of hours, which is this 2.92. G13, but remember to put dollar signs in front of DN4. Hit enter, format it as number with two decimal places, and fill this straight down. I'm sure we're doing the same thing for Mary, so I'm just gonna go and take care of that right now. So let's do equal sign, and I'm in V13 now, dollar sign. Dollar sign D, dollar sign 4, divided by um, um, number of hours. That will be 5.67 R13. Okay. Hit enter. Format this as number of two decimal places. And then fill this all the way down. I'm trying to see if I can finish this video in 15 minutes because I only get 15 minutes. But I'm done with this and I'm done with this. I won't have time to show you that I'll be submitting this file for grading. But that's really it for this homework. Um, I'm sure. Let's see if I can do this in 30 seconds. If not, um, guys, I'm going to try. Close it. Choose it. Come on, come on, come on. Where is it? Download folder. Um, 3.1. No, I don't see it. Oh, 
Oh no, I'm gonna be out of time, but I'll just submit it later. All right.